Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Casking first official BFS reel. And before I unbox this for you guys, there's a couple things I have to say. First and foremost, I have to thank you guys for following me and watching my videos. I know uh, ever since I wrote that six page paper to Casking, Casking listened and they created their first BFS prototype and they sent it to me after 2019 ICAT for me to test, provide some feedback. And also not just for me to provide feedback, when I made that video, they actually listen to every single one of you guys that actually commented on that video. So all the suggestions that you guys have provided, they listened. So with that said, before I even unbox this for you guys, I wanna let you guys know that although Casting is a New York based company within the United States, they are marketing products all over the world, globally. They're aggressively doing that. When I sent them uh, a request to make BFS products, I gave them all the research stuff and they have decided that BFS stuff is just not that strong in the United States yet. Although it's very strong and popular in uh, Asia, they are wondering if there is enough market demand in the United States for them to bring these stuff into the United States. They have told me that they will bring a limited amount onto Amazon, so uh, they want to test the market. So if you guys are interested, you know, make sure you let them know that you guys are. Uh, they are not bringing any of the rods over although they do have a matching rod, which I'll show you guys a little later. They wanna know if you guys are interested in BFS rods sold in America. So leave a comment below whether you're interested in BFS rods, reels, and also for this reel here, make sure you guys watch the end of the video because the question is, what do you guys think of the price set to $69.99 on Amazon Prime, shipped of course. So uh, everyone know Amazon takes a, a huge chunk of profit. So yeah, those three things. You guys want to see more reels, BFS reels in the United States. You guys want to see more rods in the United States. And if you guys think $69.99 is something you guys want to spend for a BFS reel. Without further ado, let's jump into the unboxing. All right, here it is. Look at that black and orange. It's like a nice orange to it. Whew. Look at that beauty. Now I'm gonna spin it around. I know my buddy, the real test, he does a pretty good job spinning these stuff around. But here you guys go, the side plate right here. Wow, look at that. The brake dials are, come on focus, in Roman numerals. Holy smokes. Zephyr, wind spirit. Look at that. Okay, oh, here comes some specs. I noticed the box didn't have any specs, so let's get this in focus for you guys. Come on. All right, so this is, oh, it's upside down. Let's spin it this way then. The gear ratio is 7.2 to one. Uh, line capacity, <laughs> one pound and one and a half pounds. Holy smokes. Those line diameter is very thin. One and a half pound is 60 meters. So super shallow spool. I mean, you guys look at that. I'm gonna turn this spool. Uh, in a couple angles so you guys can see it. And uh, let's go back to the main view. By the way, this uh, reel here is based off their Crixus uh, chassis. So it's pretty similar. So uh, as you see right here, there's a line guide right here. It's a cone shape. So that should reduce friction while you're casting, which is very, very good for BFS um, reels. You guys, it's all about reducing friction so you cast those super duper light lures. Something I like to say a lot, super duper. This is casking on it here. Yeah, I love that tension knob. Let's twist it for a second. Okay, cool, it has a clicker here. And let's look at the star drag. It clicks as well. Since we are playing with the drag, let's just reel this for a second. Feels pretty smooth on the handle, EVA foam handle with the Casking logo on it. So I'm gonna hold the spool. Okay, look at that. Stops very easily. Now let's jack it up. It's uh, eight kilograms of uh, drag power. So if I max this thing out, oh yeah, that thing is strong. Definitely more than you need for BFS fishing. And you just loosen it right there. Okay, so yeah, plenty of drag, way more than enough for BFS fishing. The drag feel is very smooth. Okay. Okay, ooh, did you hear that? Let's do a couple more testing here. Thumb bar. 
Looks like I could wiggle just a little bit left and right, but it doesn't clack or anything. Just, a, just move this a little bit. Let's try to press it. Okay, very stiff button right there. Click. And when I reel it, I believe it here, I double click, guys. Okay, cool, cool. Other things we could look at. I definitely want to look at the heck. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, open, open from here. That's pretty cool. I know I have some uh, old reels where you could just press the button or just slide the button, and when I put it on a rod holder on my kayak, the whole plate would fall off. But this this is pretty good. All right, let's twist this out. Yep, just like the Crixis, we have the magnetic brakes on a side plate here. There's eight total magnets. And when we twist this guy here, it should go up and down. Okay. In fact, I'm actually interested in counting these. So let's count them, how many clicks they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, 30 clicks, pretty cool. I guess that's why on sport, if you guys didn't know us earlier, now let's pull it out for you guys. Oh, it's, a, it's like their Speed Demon, uh, Speed Demon Pro. Short shaft, uh, spool, okay. That should allow it to spin faster. Reminds me of the GH100 spool, but you know, it doesn't use that uh, Shimano style braking system. But back to where I was gonna say, micro control. I guess the micro control is the micro brakes. 30 settings, pretty cool. All right, I know you guys are waiting for this, so I am gonna take this guy out. Whoop hap. And it says, hello. And grams, perfect. Put this guy right here. 9.1 grams. Okay, it's definitely gonna be lighter than that once we pop the bearing out. So I'll, I'll take this opportunity to pop this sucker out. Doop. Do, 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 do. And just carefully yank it out. Don't wanna bend that. Bending it is not good. So let's take this, put it on right here for you guys. Maybe a second, this is 0.1 already. Is there a way to zero that out? Okay, that should be zeroed out. 7.8, that is a light spool. Imagine if I would put the ceramic hybrid bearings or micro bearings on here, that would probably make it even, uh, spin even faster. Holy smokes. Okay, okay, so this is a super light spool. Put this back in just to be safe. I don't wanna to lose it during my unboxing video. That would be sad, wouldn't it? All right, so that is installed back. Let's put this back in there nicely. Okay, spins okay. And let's put this guy back. Let's just put it to zero brakes. Let's do a spin test. Let's lock that. Nice to have a clicker. All right. Spin pretty smooth. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't know how many seconds of it, but uh, I bet you if I clean the bearings out, put some high performance oil on it, it'll probably spin a lot faster. Or again, sorry about carpet bearings or micro bearings, but I definitely gonna play around stock before I do any upgrades. But yeah, so far this unboxing is pretty pleasant. I love the colors, black and this gold. Any other thing I wanna talk about here? Again, I mentioned the drag power is eight kilograms. So that's like what, 17.6 or something like that. So that's more than enough power. It, it looks beautiful. But let me take the rod for you guys so you guys can take a look at it. I wanted to install it at least on the rod. But here you guys go, Zephyr, the rod. You guys could see this on AliExpress already. The reel was on AliExpress, but uh, it sold out on debut <laughs> and it took it down. So uh, when it have more in stock, you guys will definitely see this reel on AliExpress, but uh, you guys could probably see it on uh, photos on Shopee as well. If you guys uh, can't wait and just want to see some photos, you guys check out Shopee. All right, look at that cork handle. So I, I definitely need to put a cork sealer on there. Well, like most is right there. Look at that. Look at that matching accent for both 
rod and reel. Uh, any specs? Here we go, specs. Okay, let's turn it the other way. Specs for you guys, come on focus, let's put the hand there. 1.68 meters, fast tip action, power ultralight, two to 10 pounds, one to eight grams. Okay, this is pretty good. And uh, let's take a look at the guide for a second. I believe, I believe these are all Fuji sick guys. Okay, ceramic inserts. All right, and here's the end piece. And uh, so there's one guide on that rod and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. So nine total guides. Okay, that's, that's pretty good for a short rod. All right, so this uh, end piece of the rod is a solid tip. So it's almost like they're max steel. In fact, I wanna show you guys something right here. Max steel also has something like this. They actually printed out the rod tip right there. Um, I guess the part number. It makes me want to think that they may have dual tips coming out potentially for this rod. So it may have an ultralight and light twin tips, but uh, that's what they had for their max steel rod. If you guys didn't see that in action already, you guys can check out the video on top right hand corner. And as you see here on their rod, it says right here, 24 ton cast flex. So it's their proprietary blank. So guys, this is how it looks like when it's uh, seated on a reel. It feels pretty low onto the reel itself. So I can actually hold it this way. I like holding it this way. I have my middle finger on the grip right here too below. My, my, my hand is always on the reel. And uh, I can touch the back part of the rod right here so I can feel for sensitivity. And I can press the button. I like it. I like this combo right here. I definitely like the reel. I like the reel seat uh, on a rod. Hope, hopefully when I put the other reels on this rod or I put this reel on other rods, it's gonna feel the same way. But so far right here, I think uh, this combo right here is very beautiful. I just can't wait to take this out for some cast tests. So guys, this is the unboxing of the Zephyr reel. I'm not gonna focus too much on the rod anymore because you know, a rod is a rod until you actually take it out to do some casting. I already read off the specs. So what do you guys think about this beautiful reel? I remember in the beginning of the video, I asked several questions. First question is, do you guys want to see more BFS reels sold in America? And two, do you want to see more BFS type rods, ultralight, light, sold in America? And then also for this reel here, after you guys have seen this beautiful looking reel, what do you guys think if this reel is priced at $69.99 shipped on Amazon? If you guys are interested in seeing me do some cast tests with this rod and reel combo, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a lot of videos on this. I'm going to go out and do some testing for the reel. I'll do some testing for the rod. And of course, once I finish all my testing, I'm going to come back to you guys with my feelings about this cool new rod and reel combo. And if you guys actually stayed all the way to the end of this video, I got to tell you guys a secret. Casting told me that Zephyr it's gonna be the lowest end DFS setup. And there's gonna be a mid end and a high end. That is at least what they want to do. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more BFS stuff from Cast King, whether they're gonna release in America or not. You know Jimbo, I'm pr very proficient at buying products overseas, especially on AliExpress. So you guys will definitely see those here on my channel, whenever the release that is. Tight lines, everyone. I'll be playing with this new toy.